Hello, Clive here, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to get the artifact of the pack doing the jumping puzzle on the center map in Ark Survival Ascended. So let's get started. So we're going to start off right here in this cove. And this is located on the southern island here in the central part of the map. And this is a cove that leads to some ruins. I would recommend you getting a Thyla for this, or anything that would be able to deal a decent amount of damage and fit through tight spaces. So a Thyla, maybe a Pyromane, um, Baryonyx could work, but you're not going to be getting a lot of fish in this place. So you go through the ruins there, and then you kind of move towards the north, and then here you are, this big open cave. You can just fly to this area as well and park your flyer outside this spot right here in between these two cauldrons of fire. And in between that, it's going to be this crack in the wall and this will be a cave. So inside this cave, we're going to head down. This cave leads to a couple of things. It leads to the jumping puzzle, which is what we're going to be doing. And it also leads to the underworld so the underground area which is that big open area where you can build that and it's a massive underground area but before we get to that point we're gonna stop off at the jumping puzzle jumping puzzle will get you the artifact of the pack so let's go ahead and keep heading down this way you want to go all the way down just keep going down the ramps now you don't want to go down that way, you want to go this way down the ramps until you see this crystal that's fallen down. Now you're going to be encountering quite a few animals in here. I did clear out some of this because I didn't want to spend 30 minutes making a video of me killing stuff. So I did clear out a decent amount of things in here. And then keep going this way. And here we go. And so. Once you get to this point, just go through this cave area, and you're going to start seeing these flames. That's where we have to go, is up there. But in order to get up there, you have to go into the water. So if you wanted to go continue on to the central underground area, you can do that by just going across this water here and going on land over there. But if you want to go get the artifact, you have to go this way. Through the water is cold water. You don't need much in the way of keeping yourself warm. Maybe just like a fur chest piece and that's about it. Which is all I'm wearing. And then in between these two pillars you're going to find this opening. There's going to be a lot of things in here. Uh, you're going to see Arthros. Everything in here is pretty high level. You can actually just run through this. You don't have to actually deal with those things. Unless you get stopped by the arachnids. And then keep going up keep going up further the things in this small area right here are high level so you're gonna see things over 200 uh, in the main area where we just entered in and then going back towards the underground area that it's gonna be lower level things like like under 50 150 so go across these ledges and then you're gonna come across this bridge so there's going to be a gap in this bridge, which you need to jump over. You're going to be chased by bats, so you might have to uh, deal with them. But jump over this little bridge here. And then you can come to this spot right here. I'd recommend building a little shelter. So put some beds down. You can build them here in PvP and in PvE. So I'd recommend just putting some beds down, because you're going to die. And you want to do a couple of things before you get started. You're going to need a little bit of food. So make sure you get some food. I would recommend getting a water skin as well. That's pretty much it. Uh, you don't need a ton of food. Probably just enough to fill up your bar just once. And definitely don't bring anything on you that you don't want to lose. Because if you do fail this puzzle, you will die. Uh, also check your cosmetics. Make sure you get everything out of that, and also 
take off your chibi if you want to keep that. Let's put that there. And so really all we have on us is a little bit of food. We're gonna get some water in there. And then we have just some clothes that we can die in. That's really it. You're not gonna be fighting anything. So we go through these pillars here, so around the corner. We wanna keep this guy here. We don't wanna bring it with us. Uh, we can't ride animals in here. I'll, I'll show you this for now. You can't ride animals past a certain point. It's gonna kick us off here in a second. Maybe not. Uh, there's some fresh water down here you can use. Wait, can we really go up here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, you just take a Thyla, you run up there, and then you just run up here. And there you go, you have an artifact. Easy enough, right? That's the fast way to do this. And the not so fast way is going to require you to go through the jumping puzzle, which we will do as well. Because that's probably going to get fixed. Alright, that thing will respawn here once we leave this area. You have to actually leave the area for it to respawn. Otherwise, you could like exploit that. So, yeah, you can come in here and you can farm up red drops too. Let's get some water here. So normally, when you walk through this area, you will get kicked off. Just keep that in mind. Alright, so that's the easy way to do that. You can throw your artifact in here, whatever drops you might have gotten. I would also want to show you that you cannot use grappling hooks in here. So, we have an extra... yeah, there we go. So once we get over here, I'll show you that you can't use grappling hooks. So once you get in here, you can try to shoot, but it says you can't use this in here. So this is working as intended. No grappling hooks anywhere in that area there. So now let's do this the legitimate way. Let's go ahead and run in here. I'm gonna fill up my water container because we will run out of water pretty quickly. It does get pretty hot down here, even though it says it's cold. Once we actually get over the puzzle, it's all over lava. Let's go ahead and fill up this water container. It's probably gonna run out pretty quickly, but it's fine. All right, let's get some food. And then we're gonna try to conserve our stamina. And let's go over here. We start off on this ramp. But once we get to the top here, I'll show you where we have to go. Start up here, jump up there here. And this is the start of the puzzle, is this one spot right here. And we have to go all the way around this whole room until we get over up there and then into that little spot that we were just at. All right, the first jump is gonna be this sprint jump. And then the next one's also gonna be a sprint jump. And it gets a little dark right here. Lighting's a little odd. We're gonna walk up this ramp. Try to conserve our stamina. And then the next one's also going to be another sprint jump across this ledge. Make sure you get a pretty good run on this one. There we go. There's different drops throughout this place you can grab. Uh, they respawn like normal cave drops do. So another sprint jump. Just be careful you don't like overrun it. Then another sprint jump. And then this is another sprint and jump. All right, uh, these earlier parts are pretty easy. And it's hard to see some of these things. And then this one you have to do an angle. So I would, re I would recommend just try to aim for like where it splits, like right there, kind of like aim right there. Then you wanna probably go to the third person for this one. So then you can stop whenever you get across it. I actually like doing this puzzle in third person. So if that's available to you, definitely Go for it. It makes it a little bit easier, I think. It kind of adjusts, like midair, you can kind of slow yourself down. Another sprint jump here. And then all the way down there, sprint jump. You kind of want to line up 
kind of line up for like, uh, probably like around here. It's a pretty good jump. There we go, made it. All right, keep going, going. So you get to this point right here, you're not gonna be wanting to jump over here. You're actually gonna wanna go back and there's gonna be a ledge down here. It's really hard to see with the lighting. Might be able to come down right here. Yeah, there's a ledge right here. You can kind of see that ledge right there. So walk off this area, just be very careful. Um, there's This is like the other part right here you can walk onto, but I would probably just walk off that ledge right there. Now this part's a little weird because this is like an invisible wall. If I walk towards this, I can't move anymore. It just starts pushing me off for some reason. You see, I'm like walking forward, but it's pushing me. So you have to be very careful. You want to aim for like right here, this little ledge right here, and try to jump towards that. It's really weird. It doesn't make sense, but that's what you want to do. So like this, and you see how I'm like walking on thin air. I, I don't know why, but that's the thing. Then you just jump up. So that's like one of those like trick spots there that it takes a little bit to get used to. Let me walk across here. And then we keep going up here. And we're gonna be doing a couple of jumps up here. I'm gonna have to go to first person for some of these views. Uh, maybe not. I'm gonna gamma up just so we can actually see this. Yeah, it just makes it a little easier to see. If you don't have the ability to gamma up, don't worry about that. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna jump. Sprint jump there. This is the tricky part. This is gonna be a lot of precise jumps. So we're not gonna be doing any sprinting. We're just gonna be doing forward jumps and try to land like this. It's definitely easier in third person for me. I don't know if it's easier for you, but it's easier to like adjust. Yeah, this one might require a sprint though. So let's try to get over there. Actually, you probably could just jump over here from this point. No, no use risking it. Yeah, we're gonna go over here anyway, so. Around the corner. Very, very slowly go around the corner. These are very, very precise jumps too. Ooh, yeah, very careful with that. So this one, you don't need a sprint, but you do need a jump pretty good. Yeah, a pretty good jump for that one. Same thing with this one, you don't need a sprint, but you do need to come back and kind of do a quick walk jump. Then up here. Around the corner, we're gonna aim for that spot right there where that light is. So just run and sprint. There we go, sprint jump. And then, yeah, if you get low on health, just eat some food, I suppose. Try to get your health back up. Okay, so now we're gonna be in some more precision jumps. So just a little bit of a slight tap forward. That was not too bad. You definitely want to watch the angles on these. And then go around the corner here. And you can see like we're getting close to the end. The end's over there. But there's quite a few hard jumps in between now and the end. So let's go around here. Yeah, just kind of stick to the side there. Be careful with some of these gaps they throw at you. Let's walk down here. Be very careful with some of these ledges too. They will knock you off. And then we have to go around the corner here. And we have to jump across to that spot there. Sprint jump. Very careful about the, the, the way you're jumping. Or what you're aiming for. We're going to try to get to that spot here. Uh, there is a slight cave in. So it might knock us off. But we just need to do a, a run and jump. We don't need to do a sprint. Okay, we do need a sprint, but be very careful with your sprint. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going around the corner here. This is probably one of the hardest jumps. Um, it's very precise. Alright, so but I'm at this point here, I want to jump down to this bottom ledge, and I need to aim for, like, right on this edge piece right here. And hopefully I hit somewhere along the edge here. The problem you run into is you're going to be hitting this wall. So you want to try to make it as far over here in this corner as possible without going too far over. And then you don't want to go too much this side as well because you're going to get pushed out into the lava. 
So what I do is I run, and it's a very light finesse on how to accomplish this, because you need to tap the sprint button while you're running, and then jump. You also want to hold in the D key, so your guy's constantly moving to the right as well. That does help a lot, a lot too. So it takes a little bit of practice, so you might die at this point. I know I have trying to do this. Let's see if we can get this now. Oh, there we go. Nice. Right, this one's also a little tricky. You don't want to go full-blown sprint, but you don't want to go too slow as well. So you kind of just want to tap the sprint key while you're jumping. And then try to land yeah, instead of going like just full-blown sprint. So you sprint and then try to slow down a little bit in the air. All right. Yeah, that was really close. I almost died to that one. All right, the next one's going to be down there. This is a very, very precise jump. You really want to uh, be very careful with how far you jump on this one. And this one should not require a sprint. So try to get to the edge and try to aim for like this edge right here. So just a quick jump and then just, yeah, just kind of push back on the S key so you're falling backwards a little bit while you're jumping to try to land it up. And this one should be pretty easy. Uh, it's just a quick jump as well. No sprinting. Yeah, just don't push forward that much. Kind of like left the keyboard while you jump. And this one as well, Just you can just jump anywhere on this one. Doesn't require too much for that one. And let's go up here, and we have to go back this way. And jump up here. Ooh, yeah, don't want to push too much forward on that one. And then, yeah, just another quick jump. And this one's a little bit trickier. You have to do a more of a quick sprint on this one. Try to aim for, like, the edge here. So it pushes you back. Yeah, there we go. And then another uh, not-so-bad jump. You can just kind of aim for the middle there. Be very careful, though. You don't want to push too far forward. And then another quick jump here. Um, be careful with this edge. This is going to push you out. So you kind of want to aim a little bit towards this way. And you kind of want to, while you're in the air, hold down the D key. So you're kind of sliding back to the right. So like that. There we go. Yeah. And then, uh, here we go. Jump down here. And this is it. We're, we're there. So we made it all the way through. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I think it does take a little bit of practice to get down. And some of those jumps are pretty tricky. But there is the artifact. Artifact of the pack. And this one is required to do the boss on this map. So you have to get this one if you are just getting the artifacts from this map. And you can't transfer them across maps. But that is going to be it. So I just wanted to show you how to do this so that now you should be able to grab this artifact. And it does become fun once you go through the whole process once, become faster at it. So I wouldn't worry about failing too much. Uh, just keep on practicing and eventually you'll get it down and it'll be pretty easy. That's gonna be it, I thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.